Welcome. In this lecture, we want to talk about how, given two points in R2, you're going to find the distance between them. Okay, so notationally, so here's our goal, right? Given two points, and then notationally, we're going to call them x, y, and x prime, y prime. That just is a way to describe them. This is still the first coordinate and the second coordinate of one point, and the first coordinate and the second coordinate of the other point. So given two points, x, y, and x prime, y prime, in the Euclidean plane R2, how are we going to find the distance between them? Okay, so let's do a little bit of a warm-up. So warm-up. What about in, let's just, and we're going to denote this one with just orange, so a single copy of the real numbers. Okay, so what's happening here? So I have two points. And I don't actually know, so this is, I've d drawn the real line here. And then I don't actually know, you know, maybe though this one's on this side and this one's here. It, but they might be swapped. And so what I'm actually looking at is this distance here. Okay. And if I wanted to compute that particular distance, what do I need to do? So answer. The distance between so the distance between these two points, x and x prime, is, and we could get the same thing, so we could either write x minus x prime, and then these are the absolute values, which you can think of as just remove your sign. So if it was negative 3, it would just become 3. Okay. And so you could write it this way, which is the same thing as actually equal to, I could swap the order of them. And because I'm taking the absolute value, that doesn't change anything. And it shouldn't for distance. Right. The distance from here to here is the same as the distance from there to there. Okay. And so a key point here is that the order of x and x prime doesn't matter. So of x and x prime right, but we do need the absolute value to make it po the distance positive. But do need to take the absolute value to make the distance positive. Okay, now let's look at in R2. Okay, so that was just in R, but now let's actually look at what happens in R2. So we're no longer in the warm up. I'm gonna kind of box it so that it's clear. The distinct from there, and we have now we have two coordinate axes. So we have one here, and we're using notationally for now. This is x. And we have another axis, maybe like this. Uh, so this is for our y. And then we're going to have, list. so we have our two points in there. So and it doesn't actually kind of matter where they are, but let's just put them here. Kind of indicate they don't both need to be uh, positive coordinates or negative coordinates or anything like that. Okay, so the way I have it in my notes, so I want to do it the same here so I don't make a mistake. So I have x and x prime, and then y prime and y. And the trick here is that we're going to be able to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we're looking at, right, what am I looking at? I'm looking at this distance here. Uh, so the question is this distance.
Okay? And the answer is actually the Pythagorean theorem. So remember that when you have a right triangle, it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we can draw a right triangle here, like this. So what we're going to get here is that this, right, this distance here is actually going to end up equaling um, because we're taking the difference of these two coordinates, right? If we kind of looked at what was going on here, right, this would tell me this x, and that would tell me, right, that here is x prime. So again, I'm just looking at the, di the distance between those, and so this is actually just here going to be... Um, the absolute value of x prime minus x, right? And then the same kind of deal here, where what are these? So this y tells me I'm like looking at, right? I just go tuk, 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 tuk. I land there. You go tuk, 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 I land here. So this is y prime. Okay, so now I'm looking at that distance here, right? And, and it's kind of over here. So this distance here. Um, and how do I get it? It's Again, it's just looking between two real numbers, so between y prime and y. So we get y prime minus y. Okay? So, and again, the order of these didn't matter. We would get the same thing. So using the Pythagorean theorem, so using the Pythagorean theorem, What am I going to get? I'm going to get that the distance is going to equal um, and because, right, so it's going to be a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'm going to get this squared plus this squared equals this squared, but then I had to take the square root because I said this squared and I want the actual distance, okay? So I'm going to get that this is going to equal so I'm putting big parentheses so that I can put a square root at the end. Okay, so this is the what to the one half power, which is the same thing as taking the square root. So I'm going to get that this is then going to equal. Um, the other kind of tricky part about this is that if I take the um, if I'm squaring this, I no longer need the absolute values because I, when you square something, it ends up positive anyway. Okay, so this is actually going to give me x minus x prime squared plus y minus y prime squared, and then I wanted to square root it at the end, okay? Right. So again, if I have just two values like that and I want the distance between them, then I just take the difference and then I take the absolute value, so it's going to be a positive number, and it's not going to matter which order I write them in. Now, if I want to actually do this in R2, it gets a little bit more complicated um, because I'm going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So I, what does that tell me? It tells me that this distance, which is the distance between my x values, and that distance, which is the distance between my y values, right? I can take this distance squared and then add this distance squared, and then I get this distance squared, okay? Well, what is this distance squared? That, this part here just drops down here. I drop the absolute value because it's already positive. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then this distance squared drops down here. Again, I can drop the absolute value because it's already positive. Because that gives me this distance squared, I have to square root the whole thing, right? Otherwise, I would have a, a square over here, okay? So I hope that made some sense, and I will see you in the next lecture.